Hello and welcome to Set Security. This is Seze, and this is going to be another video in the series of AWS Hanson Labs. So, you can use the link in the description to see the other videos in the series. And if the videos have been helpful to you or you simply just enjoy them, please like and subscribe to support the channel. So, today I'm going to be demonstrating two different methods that you can ensure the objects in your S3 buckets are encrypted at rest. Two methods are provided by AWS and how you can manage access to these encrypted objects. So the two methods I'm going to be demonstrating are first of all using AWS managed keys and secondly using customer managed keys created in AWS KMS. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing I'll do is go to the IAM console to create a user that I'm going to be using to test access. So I pull up the IAM console, go to users, and I'm just going to create a user. To do that, I click on add users, give you the username of Bob, click the checkbox to provide user access to the management console. I specify I want to create an IAM user, select custom password to enter a password for the user account. and I uh, uncheck the box for a new password that's sign. I click on next. So I'm going to click to attach the policies directly to this user account. I'll select attach policies directly. And I'm going to give this user S3 full access, Amazon S3 full access. This permission gives the user full read and write access to the Amazon S3 service. So I click on next and create the user. So I click on return to user list and it's asking to download the user's password. I don't need to, so I just click on continue since I already know the password. But if you, if you have a complex password that you need to download, then you should download it. So I log on to the pub account in an incognito window and confirm that I can access the S3 service. So yes, I can list all my buckets in this in S3 and I can open up the buckets this and I'm going to be using which is a sales bucket to demonstrate um, the encryption. So back at the admin account, I'm going to be uploading a file to the S3 bucket to demonstrate the encryption. So I pull up the S3 service, open up the sales bucket, and click on upload to upload the file. So I click select add, add files. And I'm going to be using this project management textbook to demonstrate. So I select the file, then I scroll down and set, expand the properties tab. So I just scroll down to the section where it says server-side encryption, and I'm going to select here specify an encryption key. And for this first demonstration, I'm going to be leaving it as the default settings for the pocket, which is the Amazon S3 managed key, or server-side encryption S3. So I'll click on Upload. So it takes a second and the upload is done. And next, I'll return to the Bob account to attempt to read the file. So I can just refresh the bucket. So I click on the file, and I click on Open to open it in a new tab. And you see I'm able to read the file. This is because for AWS managed keys for S3 encryption, once a user has access to the buckets and to read objects in the bucket, even when the objects are encrypted, they can still access them. So now let's go back to the admin account and upload the file again, but this time using KMS customer managed keys. And so we pull up the KMS console, the KMS service, and click on create a key. So we're going to leave it as symmetric key 
and leave the usage as encrypt and decrypt. So for the alias, you can give it a name. I'll just give it security test tree key. I click on next. And for key administrators, I'm going to use the admin account CZ as a key administrator. I click on next. And for key users, for now, I'm going to leave it blank. So I'll just click on next. So, and these are, this is the policy the key is going to be created with. You can scroll through it and just click on finish. So now I have the key created. I can go upload the objects in history using the key. Uh, just select add files. I'll select the same file again, which is a project management textbook. And this time I go to properties again. And select specify an encryption key and override bucket settings for default encryption. So here, instead of S3 managed key, I'm going to use the KMS service. And instead of entering the key, KMS key R and I'll click choose from your AWS KMS key and just select the key that I created, which is a security S3 key. I'll just leave the rest of the settings as default. And then I can click on upload. Okay, so now back at the bucket, I can see um, the file. Well, what I didn't notice as first was that I had enabled versioning on this bucket. So instead of having two files, I have well, the newer version that's replaced the older version. As you can see, when I click on show versions, you can see both versions. But this is a newer version that's encrypted with the KMS key. So with the admin account, I can still view the file, like I just tested now. But when I return to the pop account, you can see that access is denied. And this is happening even when Bob has the access to read all objects in all S3 buckets in the account. So the reason for it is before a user is able to access an encrypted object on AWS, the user doesn't need just permissions to the object, but also permission to use the key that was used to encrypt the object. And in this case, the Bob user doesn't have that permission to use the key. So I can demonstrate that by going back to the admin account, selecting the key, and adding Bob as a user in, under the key users tab. So I select Bob and add him as a user and returning to the Bob account, because Bob has access to the key now, you can see that Bob is able to access the object. So in this video, I have successfully demonstrated the difference between encrypting with AWS managed keys and encrypting with AWS KMS customer managed keys. In summary, the difference is with AWS managed keys, access to the object basically means access to decrypt the object, even when it's encrypted. And but with AWS KMS key, um, customer managed keys, the user must have explicit access to use the key as well. So if these videos are helpful or interesting to you, please like and su subscribe to support the channel. And now I'm just going to do the teardown. First of all, deleting the file from the bucket. And also because I have version enabled, I have to delete all the versions of the file as well and the delete marker. So to confirm deletion, I'll just type permanently delete in the box. And then I can return to KMS and finally delete, delete the key. So to delete the key, you have to first of all disable the key and then you can schedule it for deletion with the lowest number of days for the waiting period being seven days. So this is because when a key is deleted, any objects that are, that are encrypted with that, that key um, automatically become inaccessible. And so AWS doesn't want a situation where keys are deleted by mistake and um, the objects encrypted with that key are not accessible. So you have a seven day period to change your mind basically, not to correct your errors.
So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.